Now, the amount of mincemeat we've made is actually six pounds altogether, and one and a half pounds of mincemeat will make about three dozen mince pies, so we should be well stocked up with that. Now, if you want a little change with your mince pies this Christmas, I've got a lovely gadget I'd like to show you here. This is a lattice pastry cutter. And what you can do is make lattice tops for the mince pies so that when they're baked and you serve them warm, you can put in some Cumberland rum butter, the way they do up in the Lake District when they make something called Cumberland rum nickies, I think they're called. And you just have this lovely uh, rum butter melted into the mince pie, which makes it absolutely wonderful. So I want to show you the lattice cutter now. You start by rolling the pastry always into an oblong about the same length as the cutter. Then you need a very well floured surface to do it on so that it doesn't stick. Move your pastry onto the flour like that. You can see the oblong quite clearly. Then you, I'm going to just, just tap the edge a bit there because sometimes it sticks at the edge. Put the lattice cutter on and press very hard like that. And then start to go along and you'll see the edges coming up there. So you just eke that back again. We don't want you up here. That's it. Hold it with this hand and just keep going along like this, pressing hard. This is what I call my new Christmas toy. Lovely stocking present for somebody who likes to cook this one. Now, you've cut it. The next thing you do is you just eke it out with your fingers gently like that. And you can see, like magic, how the lattice pattern is formed. Just eke it out like that all the way round. And if you want to make a large mincemeat tart, you can start off with a bigger strip and do two rolls, and then you can cut out a whole circle if you want to. But what I'm going to do is just cut out little tops for mince pies. And I want to show you how to do that. You take a cutter and you try to get the cutter somewhere along an edge here that's rounded at both ends. So we'll try that one here. Wait a minute, let me find it. Like that. Then give it a sharp tap, the way you would if you were making a conventional mince pie. And then you just take, we've got some mince pies ready here. Take it and just put it on the top of the mince pie like that, which I've dampened with a little bit of milk, and just press it all round. Now this does take a bit of practice. But if you go wrong, you can just re-roll the pastry and start again. I think it's worth persevering, and in the end, it is quite easy. Now, all I'm going to do with those now is just brush a little bit of milk on the top, like that, and they go into a hot oven, gas mark six or the equivalent, and they'll take about 20, 25 minutes to cook. Now, they look very pretty when they're cooked. I'd like you to see these here. Dust them with icing sugar and serve them warm from the oven with a little bit of Cumberland butter to melt through the gaps. Thank you.